24 hours in a day, your success is dependent upon how you use the 24. You got to hear me. People talk about Oprah Winfrey, you know, Ted Turner, Warren Buffett. Listen to me. I don't care how much money you make. You only get 24 hours in a day. And the difference between Oprah and the person that's broke is Oprah uses her 24 hours wisely. That's it. Listen to me. That's it. You get 24. I don't care if you broke, you grew up broke. I don't care if you grew up rich. I don't care if you're in college, you're not in college. You only get 24 hours. And I blew up literally. I went from being a high school dropout to selling 6,000 books in less than six months. What happened? My 24 hours. I was like, okay, Eric, you got to get a grip on your 24 hours because you're about to be broke for the rest of your life. And that's all I need you to do for me. I can tell you all about your life if you just write down your 24-hour schedule for me and you let me look at it. I can tell you where you're going to be in five years. I can tell you where you're going to be in 10 years. I can tell you where you're going to be in 20 years if you keep that schedule. Days I didn't want to put my clothes on. There was days I didn't want to face the world. Are you hearing what I'm saying? I was blessed because I went through so much pain that that pain actually pushed me. Oh, you better hear what I'm telling you today. I'm telling you that that pain pushed me to prosperity. That pain pushed me to greatness. I'm telling you, you going through pain. I know what you're feeling. I know exactly because I've been there. I've done that. But you got to work through it. And if you work through your pain, on the other side is a reward. Listen to me. Pain ain't permanent. Ah, uh, you better hear what I'm telling you. Your pain ain't permanent. Your pain ain't permanent. You can get through this. You're bigger than your pain. You're better than that. And let me tell you something. You're going to work through this. You're going to get up. You're going to get dressed. You're going to get out. And you're going to do what you've been called to do. You're going to be what you called me. You're going to have and you're going to prove to everybody that tried to break you. You're going to prove it wrong. Everybody that tried to stop you. Everybody that tried to kill your dream. You're going to prove all of them wrong. Are you hearing what I'm saying? And I'm telling you right now. Don't give up. I'm telling you right now. Don't give in. Get through it. And if you can get through it, if you can work through your pain, if you can work through your pain, I'm guaranteeing you on the other side is a reward. But at 17 years old, I embraced this group of values, and I realized, E.T., you can't be successful if you say one thing and you do another thing. So I'm telling y'all, for real, success, number one, starts with you. Like, for real, real success is you say one thing, and if you do what you say 70% of the time, you're going to be average. If you do what you say you're going to do 80% of the time, you're going to be real good. And if you do what you say you're going to do 90% of the time, you're going to be great. Because very few people do what they say they're going to do. It sounds good coming off your lips. It sounds good when you tell people, I'm going to University of Michigan. Then you come home for Thanksgiving with the jersey on, right? You come home with the outfit on, right? With the U of M. You come home with the blue and maize, and you trying to pretend like you're going to class when you know you're not going to class. But you come in with the gear on and with the book bag that you sit down, and you don't pick back up, but you want everybody to see you with the outfit on because you want to say you're a student when really you know you're not a student because you ain't going to class. So when I started listening to Adele, Adele blew my mind because as I was listening to her music, I could tell, I could tell, I could tell that this was real to her. And as I started studying the girl, I found out, I discovered, amen, I discovered that she had been through a breakup, amen. And when she got in the studio, they said, listen to me, this thing is crazy. They said her album 21, like she was start, started the album, stopped for months because she had no creativity, right? But then they said all of a sudden her man broke up with her. Woo! And not only did he break up with her, he broke up with her, got with somebody else, and got engaged in a matter of weeks. Your life is your life. Don't let it be clubbed into dank submission. Be on the watch. There are ways out. There is a light somewhere. It may not be much light, but it beats the darkness. Be on the watch.